Now, they were two of Britain's best-loved performers who dominated children's television for more than 20 years. But after Barry Elliott died uh, two years ago, the industry bid farewell to the uh, iconic Chuckle Brothers and to some of comedy's most feel-good moments. Uh, we're joined now by Paul Elliott, Barry's younger brother and comedy partner, to remember him. Um, Paul, lovely to see Hi. you. Joining us um, from, from Greece, where I know now you spend um, a lot of time in, in Kefalonia. Um, how much do you... Do you miss Barry? Uh, not that much. You, you know, it's, um, it's a thing. He's been with me for 70 years. Uh, obviously, being my bigger brother, uh, we worked together as partners for 55 years. It's like uh, your right arm being cut off. You know, I still miss him today, obviously. Uh, but the physical pain that you get when when somebody dies as close to you, it is an actual physical thing. It's not just a hurt. It's a pain, and uh, that steadily disappears over the years, but, you know, you never stop missing him. Barry, uh, 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 Paul, I should say that uh, you're speaking to us from uh, a hotel lobby and I think someone is putting down crockery or setting the table there or something. There's something going on around you that we're, we can't hear we're hearing. Very well. How dare they? Oh, well, we're, hearing, we're hearing a lot. It's a good comedy moment. That's just from me to you. Uh, just, just, oh, just dear, pointing that. <laughs> um, oh, dear, but, oh, dear. But you've reached that age where a lot of um, loved ones around you um, you're losing them. And Barry hasn't been your only loss, has he? No, there was, there was a bit, originally six of us, um, five boys and one girl. And now there's just Brian and myself left. Um, Sheila was the first to die, then uh, Colin, um, then it was uh, Barry, of course, and then just a year ago, a year after Barry died, uh, Jimmy died. So um, I, I, I have to have a look in the paper to see if I'm still alive. When I wake up in the morning, I have no idea. <laughs> and and how, you... how are you coping with that? Is Greece a refuge for you? Is that, is that one of the ways that you find that you can deal with it? Yeah, you get away, you get, you get away from it all, you know. Um, out here, and, uh, out my villa is up on a hill, so uh, I completely isolate from anybody. Uh, and I'm sorry about this thing hanging around my neck. It looks ridiculous, doesn't it? <laughs> We're all, do, we're, all do, we're all having to do that, Paul. It's just a different way now, isn't it? Um, how much do you, do you feel Barry's presence still? Uh, every time when, when I work, I've not worked for a long time, but every time I work, it, I always feel that he's there with me. Um, it's, it's, it's a nice feeling. There he is, yeah. Uh, Baz. It's a nice feeling um, that he's there helping you know, me all the way along. It's and I, great. I think... Um, when we spoke last time, you said you dream about him a lot. Yeah, we're always together, um, always working together. Uh, it was never in my dreams. You know, I was my stupid dreams you always have. But ever since he died, he's always been there in the dreams with me as well, which I think, as I've said before, it's uh, his way of telling me, yeah, there is an afterlife, which he didn't believe in, and I did. Yeah, but he also <laughs> didn't, he didn't believe in telling you that he was ill. I, either. Why do you think he kept it from you? No, well, he, he wanted to work. He loved, he loved working, he loved making people laugh. He, uh, and he knew if I'd have found out, you know, I'd have made him, and his, and his manager would have made him, uh, you know, go and get it sorted, get into a hospital or whatever. Yeah. That's Could something I... else he never liked. He never liked the hospital, he never liked to go and see the doctor. He's one of these, that was just very, that's how he was. Uh, and I would have forced them to. to... We're, we're having a bit of trouble, obviously, with the uh, the link to you, unfortunately. But just um, basically tell us, what what does the future hold for you? Will it still be in children's entertainment? Uh, no, I do pantomime every year. Well, <laughs> possibly not this year. Looks like it's, uh, it's going to be off. Um, I do pantomime, then I do nightclubs. I do a DJ spot and a meet and greet, uh, which always fills them, because everybody's grown up with me, you know. <laughs> It feels awful when a 50-year-old comes up to you and says, uh, I used to watch you when I was at school. And it makes you feel nice and young now. Um, Paul, I know, <coughs> excuse me, I know that um, towards the end of his life, you had a lot of help, you and the family, from Marie Curie nurses, which I know you talked about before that you were so appreciative of. Um, and you're taking part in something for Barry called the Memory Cloud with Marie Curie. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's, it's a fabulous thing. I mean, Barry and I were uh, ambassadors for many years. Um, I still am, obviously. And uh, it was nice that they were there for him at the end. But uh, this new thing that, you know, because you can't 
uh, go to funerals, you can't have your, uh, your wake afterwards where everybody has a chat about, um, you know, the person that's died and the good times and all that. That's not being able to do with this uh, being locked down everywhere. But the, um, with this thing, you, you go on the cloud, and you, you put your memories of somebody up there, and maybe photographs of yourself with them. And, and you know, it's, it's a bit like a wake. It's, it's up there and it's, it's lovely to look at, you know. And other people Great can idea, see that as well. You know, and, and I know you've had years of wonderful memories with your brother. Listen, I can hear that they're getting busy for the lunchtime Lunch. service. <laughs> trying to, they're trying to lay up and we're trying to keep them quiet. <laughs> Will you um, stop it? Will you stop it? <laughs> to me, to you. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Paul. Appreciate it. Thank you very much indeed. Stay well. Yes. To you. See you. Yeah, and you. Love you both. Thank, thank you very you, much, Paul. mate. Thank See you. you. Thank you very much indeed.